Hello guys and welcome. In this tutorial video, I want to show you how to link up documents on Sage Pastel Accounting. In this particular video, I will link a sales order to a quotation. So in this case, I already have the quotation created. So if you don't know how to create a quotation, you can just search across my channel you'll find a video where i was creating that particular quotation so i'm going to process customers and then i'll select the sales order then the customer will be albert samantha now it says there are outstanding quotations for this customer. Do you want to link now? You will select yes if you want to link right away or no if you want to change some of things on this particular sales order. For example, if you want to change the price to be exclusive or inclusive, if you want to change the date there, so you will do that then after you are done you'll click on link create then it will give you this pop-up screen on this screen it says document type link to then it must link to the quotation then on the number you will look for that particular quotation so i'm going to link to this the first quotation just click ok therefore on this field now it says code this is the code of this particular um, inventory then the price was 50 rands then now the quantity that was requested for quotation was 55 quantity to use so in this case i'll just assume that this customer is ordering all of those products that he requested for quotation if the customer was only um ordering fewer products you would change to that particular number of products the customer wishes to be to order so in this case i'll just assume the customer is ordering for all of them then when i'm done i'll click on link then i'll click ok then now you can see that here is my sales order and there is the product that was requested on the quotation linked to the sales order then when you are done you will update this particular document so to update a sales order you go to next document but before you can be sure that you update it using next document you first going to check on batch if there is no update on batch so remember if you click on batch and you have update so it means that particular um document is updated using batch but if you click on batch and you don't have update then automatically you need to go for next document then on this screen it's asking me if i want to print no i'll just click on cancel so now I have my sales order created. To verify that, you'll just go to number and then you'll see that this is the sales order that I have created. Then that marks the end of this tutorial video. Remember, if you have any query, any question, any comment regarding Pastel accounting, you can just 
put it in the comment section below and I shall attend to it.